Hello everyone, welcome to Will Your Own. My name is Gagan and in this video today we will finish the last section of embryology. And after this video I have some very important information to share with all of you but at first let's finish our embryology section. Okay, so let's start. In my last video uh, we discussed that the blastocyst will further be divided into embryoblast and trophoblast. And we discussed in last video that trophoblast is further divided into cytotrophoblast and sensitotrophoblast. Cytotrophoblast helps in the implantation of the embryo and sensitotrophoblast as we discussed that it released HCG hormone which retains the corpus luteum and which also confirms that there is pregnancy. Now in today's video we will discuss about embryoblast. What happens to the embryoblast? Let's say that this is an embryoblast. This here is amniotic cavity and this is yolk sac. So they have two layers in this. These are the layers of cells. Okay, if we if we see this section like this. These are the two layers. This layer is epiblast. So we are just uh, looking at it vertically. This is epiblast. The upper part is called epi, so it is epiblast. This lower part is hypoblast. Okay, so these two layers just attach at one point, just at one point, otherwise the whole layer, the whole two layers are separated from each other but just at one point they are fused together. This point is the future mouth and this, this point is also called precordial plate. This point is the future mouth so we can decide that this part will be the head and this will be the tail part. Okay so after this the process of gastrulation occurs. Gastrulation. Okay, so gastrulation is the process which produces three layers which is ectoderm, outer layer, mesoderm, the middle layer and endoderm, the, the most lower layer. So this is what we discussed, this is epiblast and this is hypoblast. When there is gastrulation occurring, this divides and this forms a primitive streak. This forms a primitive streak. So epiblast, the cells, the cells in epiblast will form ectoderm layer. But when these cells go to the center here between epiblast and hyperblast, but in the center, this is this forms notochord. And when these epiblast cells goes into the space between hyperblast and epiblast, these cells will be called mesoderm. They will form mesoderm layer. Meso means middle, so it will be in the middle. And when these epiblast cells will go into the hypoblast, this will form endoderm layer. So this this is all about last section of embryology. In this video, we discussed that uh, blastocyst is divided into two parts: embryoblast and trophoblast. In last video, we discussed that trophoblast is further subdivided into cytotrophoblast and sensitotrophoblast. We discussed it in last section, but today we discussed about embryoblast. So embryoblast forms the two layers epiblast and hypoblast at first and then the process of gastrulation occurs gastrulation is the formation of three layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm ecto means outer meso means mi middle and endo means the inner layer so this is how uh, we discuss that how the gastrulation process occurs so the epiblast will form ectoderm 
Mm. The middle layer will be called mesoderm and hypoblast will form endoderm. And with this we finish our embryology section today. So I hope you watched all my videos on embryology and I hope it helped. For those who have not watched this video, I'm putting the link on the i button. You can click on the i button and view all these videos on the embryology section. And regarding other subjects, I believe that there are two categories of students, category A and category B. Category A students are those who can sit for hours and study just one subject continuously without any break. They are the real heroes. But category B students are those who get bored of studying one subject continuously and they need subjects, they, they need uh, to study several subjects simultaneously. So as being a category B student, uh, I'll be making videos on different subjects topic wise but in a particular pattern. Our next video will be on biochemistry and regarding other subjects, I believe that there are two categories of students, category A and category B. Category A students are those who can sit for several hours and study just one subject continuously without any break. They are the real heroes. But category B students are those who get bored of studying just one subject and they study better when they learn all subjects simultaneously. So as being a second category student, uh, I'll be making videos uh, topic wise, subject wise, but in a particular pattern. So our next video will be of biochemistry subject and we'll continue with other subjects after that. Thank you for watching and please keep supporting and keep learning and keep subscribing.